Hi, this is Jeff, and recently I've gotten some questions regarding how do you take video that you've rendered through GoPro Fusion Studio, put it into Adobe Premiere, and then render that so that you can uh, send it onto YouTube or Facebook or put it onto other channels um, with all your edits that you would do through Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm going to show you how I go through the process. I've got uh, Adobe Premiere Pro open, and I've recently rendered some shots I, 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 I made uh, with my GoPro Fusion and I'm just going to import those just like I would any other file. You can drag and drop these wherever, however you want to do it. Um, but all mine are in my GoPro folder on my desktop uh, and I've got my renders here and I'm going to grab those files. I'm just going to grab them all. They're MOV files when they come out of uh, GoPro Fusion Studio and I'm going to import them and Adobe will process them and put them into my, uh, my project file here. I'm going to grab one of the files here and I'm going to drag it into my timeline and that's going to define the settings for for this particular video. So it's going to be super wide like you can see here. Um, this is not an immersive 360 view. Um, you can get that view by clicking on this little button right here, toggle VR display. And I'm sorry it's so small, but you can sort of see this is sort of the field of view and you can see how it would look like from an interactive uh, standpoint but I prefer to work with it in this format. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, you, with this, you can go ahead and start processing it if it's just the clip you want to process again. But if you're in Adobe, you're probably going to want to add some effects, maybe join a couple of clips together. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to go ahead and shorten this down a little bit. So you treat it just like any other Adobe file. And I'll bring in a second, um, uh, I'll bring in a second video uh, and we'll grab this one right here. And I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to just tighten this one up a little bit. Um, and we'll join them together and we'll make it a, uh, a, a transition. I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. I want to make it short so it renders fast so you guys can see what it looks like here. All right, so once you've got them together, then you can go into the effect controls and you can find your favorites. You can do all kinds of things with this just like you would any other Adobe files. I'm going to put a cross dissolve between these so you can sort of see it'll... It'll look kind of like this, um, nice slow transition. Not rendering super fast right now, but let's see how that works. All right, there you go. Um, and if you have the GoPro Fusion plugins, uh, you can also make some adjustments to this. So let's say, for example, I didn't want this to be the center of the, uh, of the shot. I can type in my effects controls over here, type in GoPro. And I'll look through all my GoPro effects, but I'm looking for the GoPro VR effects. And they're right here. Uh, and I'm going to apply Horizon to this particular one. And when I do that in my effect control window up here, GoPro Horizon is there. Now if I can change the pitch, the roll, I can do all kinds of things. If I want to change what's the center of the image, meaning what is the, the viewer going to see first if they aren't moving around, that's my yaw. And so you can see I can rotate this, it doesn't adjust any of the, uh, uh, of, the, of the view, but I'm going to move it so that I'm looking at the side view, all right? Um, and that'll lock in and now it's ready to go. So I've now completed my video and I'm ready to render it. I'll go up to File, Export, Media, and the Export Media Properties window is going to pop up uh, and just a second. Um, it will recognize that we're looking at a 360 video. Uh, I'm going to do it again in case I missed the button there. There we go. And I'm going to rename this to Fusion, and I'm at the zoo. So I'm going to do that. Now, uh, this will be saved to my desktop. Um, I like H.264 as my encoder. Uh, because it's a 360 video, I do like to move the bitrate up a little bit. Uh, it makes it a little bit of a better video. I like to be anything above 30, so that's fine. I'm not that precise with what number it is, but anything above 30 for me is great. And then you also want to make sure this video is VR is checked. So when it's unchecked, it looks like this. Adobe Premiere Pro will likely recognize that you do have 360 video, but if not, make sure that's checked. Then you can select whether it's monoscopic, stereoscopic, if you've got like a cardboard viewer or something like that, side-by-side, uh, -side, over, under. But monoscopic is traditionally what I've done. Uh, it's what is playable on YouTube uh, and other platforms. So unless you've got a special viewer, monoscopic is where you want to go. 
You can export it straight from here. Uh, I prefer to use the Adobe Media Encoder. Uh, so I'm going to queue this up into the encoder. It's going to now launch the encoder software and take me into a window where I can start to render. So we'll give this just a second to pop up. Now it's ready. Uh, and then just like you would render anything else in Adobe Premiere, you're just going to hit play. So it's in the queue here, and I'm going to hit play. The stat creek is the name of the sequence. Uh, and this is going to take just a minute or two to process. But just so you get an idea, the stat creek file is giving this name because that happened to be the first file I drug, in, drug into the timeline, and it named the sequence that way. So I'm going to minimize this. This is going to take about another 30 seconds. While it's processing, you can see it on your desktop. So this is these two files here are, and I'll drag them up to the top so we can sort of see them a little better in contrast to this guy maybe. Um, these two files here are what is being encoded. Uh, and once this processing is done, these two files will be merged into a single MP4 file. That MP4 file will be ready to go straight to YouTube or to any other platform that you want. Uh, and because you tagged it as VR video when we set up our properties, YouTube will recognize it as a 360 video. So we'll give it another seven seconds and I'll show you different ways you can view this video from your desktop as well. So just to make sure it's what you want it to be. Almost done, just another second here. And again, watch the two files up here on the desktop. They will merge together as the final processing is done and it will end up with a final MP4 file that's called Fusion Zoo. And there it is. So I'll bring it up here again just so you can see. Now, when you play this back, again, this file is, as it is, is ready to go onto YouTube. Uh, and it will be recognized as a 360 video, uh, an interactive 360 video. Um, if I try and open it now with QuickTime, it is not going to be an interactive 360. Uh, QuickTime will treat it like a normal video. And you can see but all the effects there, the transitions there. Uh, we centered on this right side of the, of the cage. Everything that we, all the changes we made are, are, are there. It's just not an interactive video. And you can play it just like you would normally. So it's perfectly fine as it is. Um, however, if you want to see what it will look like as a interactive 360 video, then you want to open it with GoPro's VR player. And when you do that, it will launch as an interactive 360. So I can use my mouse to kind of scroll around. I can look down. I can look up. I can uh, sort of make sure my audio is working. Everything's great. All right, and it's in a loop, so this is the. It's only like an eight-second video, but we're seeing the same thing over and over again. All right, now you've got it ready to go. You can close your media encoder, and you can upload this Fusion Zoo file or whatever you've named yours straight to YouTube, and your 360 video will process, and it will be interactive on YouTube. If you have any questions about this process, Please put them in the comments below. I'll be glad to help you out with this. Uh, I know this is new for a lot of people, and I want you to be successful editing your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro and putting those Fusion videos on the, your social media channels. All right, thanks again. Ask questions. I'll be glad to help.